for the disturbance. Okay, now is it being recorded? Right. So the idea of commemorating the foundation day of the council, the 4th March and the first national day campaign was launched in 1972 and has since been organized every year. So from since 1972 till today, we had been we have been celebrating this festival, we can say a celebration weekend day, these days we celebrate and uh, the campaign was campaign now entering its 47th year has grown into a major national campaign widely celebrated by industries, trade union, government, department, regulatory agencies, NGOs and institutions with the active support of central and state governments and media. The people who are very much active, those who are associated with any union, so they organized programs, many uh, like poster program we have, many banners program we have, many quiz, many games we have for bringing the awareness of the safety. It has made impact on the industrial scenario and the, at the national level by contributing to increased safety awareness and reductions in accidents started for a single day on 4th of March as NSD. The campaign has now been spread over a week from 4 to 11th March. The campaign is aimed at renewing the commitment of employees and general public to work safety throughout the year. The ultimate objective of the campaign is to ensure integration of the OSH, that is occupational safety health in work, culture and lifestyle. So objective ensure that safety and health are integrated in work culture and lifestyle renew the commitment of the employees towards safety and health at workplace achieve greater participation of the employee in OSH activities actually the thing is that whenever we organize this kind of program so that moment many people many participants uh, many employees of the industries and factories they participate so that they bring the more awareness of the safety of patient safety and health occupational safety and uh, health also mm -hmm. commonly referred to as occupational health and safety so uh, oh, sorry it is uh, actually there there is uh, some the, it was a heading but it was by mistake the routine two or three times so the thing is that occupational health or occupational safety is multidisciplinary field concern with the safety health and welfare of people at occupations so now we have some questions. Actually, this was uh, this should be here. Questions for the so we have these questions. What are the critical steps in our job? So these questions you'll be discussing in the breakout room. So the thing is that, so entire week we organize, uh, we bring the awareness of the safety. And you know, I'm also working in any in in industry in a factory. So I have seen all the things. What kind of program what kind of uh, like uh, uh, things happen in our factory. The thing is that many in safety, safety engineers, many safety inspector, they come, they ask to each employee mm -hmm. that uh, within a month or within a week, how many times the engineers, they come to test your machines with whom you are working. Is it oiled every week or not? Uh, how many times it is oiled in a month? They ask that you have all the safety tools or not. So this kind of awareness they bring. They ask many questions about the machines before starting your machines. What do you do? Do you write all the things in your diary about your machines? That uh, what portion of the machine is uh, weak or is it working or is not working? So by this, we bring the awareness. So many quiz program, many uh, like posters programs. So we organize by this many people they come to know about the safety so after organizing this thing so people become more <laughs> active and more uh, like uh, safe and happening of incidents and accidents it reduces because of these program so this is all about the our topic and uh, i would like to ask you some questions so just a minute about some uh, safety tools just a minute. So you would be telling me what all the just a minute. Uh, 
right? You'll be telling me about these. Yeah, is it visible to you? Is this a screen yeah. visible? Yep. Right. These are personal yeah. protective equipments. Exactly. These are the personal protective equipments. These are the tools, safety tools, we can say. So ear protections. Mm -hmm. So can you tell me what all, where we use these safety tools? Actually, the first one is the first one is ear protection. Uh, protection. This is earbuds. Actually, mm -hmm. this is not earmuff. Mm -hmm. So earbuds uh, we use where the you know sound level is very high at that time we use earbuds. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, uh, air muff at the time we use, but air muff usually we use at work site mm -hmm. when the sound level is low. Mm -hmm. uh, and the second one is eye protection. Okay, it's let me, just let like, you know, safety some glasses. Person, some other person, some other participant should tell about protective mm -hmm. eye ear. Yes. Any other person? Can you speak about protective eye ear? Any other person? Anyone just unmute and speak. Yeah. Protective eye wear. Um, hi, Shibai. How are you, sir? Yeah. yeah, I'm great. Please speak about protective eye wear. Yeah, Abbas, would you like to say about it? Abbas. Sorry, yeah, I I was breaking because of my internet, sir. How are mm. you, sir, Shashi Raj, everybody? Dr. Huang, my mentor, Madam Azita. How, how is everybody? Uh, I would select uh, safety shoes because uh, incident happened with me when I was in Qatar. Uh, mm -hmm. I was not wearing the safety shoes. I went to, I, I was a banker there and mm -hmm. I went to visit my friend. He was working in the oil field. So we went uh, to another area where they, uh, everybody wore the safety shoes and I was being a little bit overconfident that nothing will happen. <laughs> and uh, suddenly some uh, stencils were there which were very solid of uh, this uh, made up of iron. Mm -hmm. So uh, it happened and uh, lesson from God, it fell on my feet and I was wearing my bank shoes, the black uh, uniform shoes. And uh, I had that bruise on my, uh, you know, thumb uh, of the feet. So mm -hmm. I got the lesson that Whenever you go to such an area, mm -hmm. you should wear the safety shoes and you should follow the instructions. So that's my take. Okay, that's okay. Thank you very much. Azita, would you like to tell about protective eye wear? Eye wear, it's used um, uh, um, by a clinic. Mm -hmm. Some the dentists use it. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, some, some doctors use it uh, for protect their eyes, uh, some surgery, some doing something, and uh, uh, welders, they, uh, welders and eye grinders, they also yes, use yes. eye protective eyes. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. So Adran GS, yes. hello Adran, please tell something about hard hat. Hello, well that is to, uh, that is for you to protect your head mm -hmm. if you work like in uh, dangerous places, right? If you work in mines or stuff like that, you need to wear that. <coughs> Thank if you, very you are much. a builder, you also should wear it because being a builder is not safe also, not mm -hmm. only in mines, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I absolutely course. agree with you. Mm -hmm. uh, these everything, things... everything can fall from the sky, so you should be protected. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, these, yeah, thank you very much for sharing this picture. Uh, you know, just just because I've used to work in an oil and gas field before, yeah, yeah, these are these pictures are really familiar to me. Mm -hmm. And regarding the hard hat, yeah, I, I absolutely agree with you, girl or woman. I don't know where are you from. <laughs> um, girl, yeah, forever, hard girl. Hat, yeah, hard, hard hat, um. Yeah, it can be used in construction most of the times. Yeah, bricks, uh, it can, you know, protect you from falling. Um, any kinds of, um, yeah, materials, including bricks. And while driving, while riding bike yeah. and bicycle. Okay, thank you. Oh, yeah, exactly. Thank you very much. Swetlana, would you I like think, to tell, you know, you like to tell about... Um, mm -hmm. I think if we, we talk about riding bicycle it doesn't it is it doesn't call hard hat it mm -hmm. calls it is called ha hamlet helmet, as helmet. Far as it's helmet. a helmet. helmet it's a helmet 
it's a helmet right yeah okay so this you... one is different uh -huh. this one is different exactly. i would like to talk about gloves you want me to talk about gloves yes, of course yes <laughs> Okay, you know, now of course all, all of us know what gloves mean and when we had, we are still having coronavirus protection mm -hmm. and um, when it began, um, people asked, um, our government warned us to wear sometimes even gloves, but to protect us, but I don't believe that it, can, it could help, but never mind. So gloves are mostly used in surgery. For example, it is impossible to make a surgery without wearing them. Some, um, <laughs> some women use them while washing the dishes, but I can't, for example, I, I think that it is uncomfortable for me to use them. Uh, um, I do it without any um, gloves, but some people they have, they are aller allergic for some washing gel maybe and they have to wear it i don't know what other cases maybe some people yeah. use it also oh okay i get it uh, for example uh, people who work in restaurants and cafes i think they also should wear some because they can't uh, make salads or something like that mm -hmm. uh, dishes without gloves but I don't think that everybody follows this rule. I doubt it. <laughs> That's it. I think, I think uh, lab researcher and also gloves used okay, in Mohammed, lab researcher. Okay. Mr. Farhan, Mr. Farhan, please speak about full body harness. Are you here, Mr. Farhan? Uh, Shashiraj bhai, I apologize. You asked me for eyewear, but I couldn't hear you. My internet is bad, okay. so I selected. No, I, no, I apologize. Okay. But, but now I chose, understand. Yeah. You chose. You chose yeah. the topic footwear. That was good, right? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank that you. Was <laughs> that was good. Okay, I was yeah. asking to Farhan. Farhan, can you tell something about full body harness? Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I know. I know about the full uh, body harness. Uh, a full body harness, I think, it consists of uh, straps uh, passed over the shoulders and uh, across the chest mm -hmm. and uh, around the legs. Uh, in if in fall, a full body harness uh, protects uh, us uh, <coughs> more than a, a safety belt because the harness uh, distributes the force uh, of impact uh, over greater area of our body. This is a full body harness uh, should, worn, should wear uh, while we are while working in constructing area and other. Uh, I, I think. Anybody so, else? Uh, mm -hmm. Shashi Raj, uh, yes, actually, uh, sorry to interrupt, but I have the question. I have a question in the mind right now. So, mm -hmm. uh, would you allow me? Yes, sure. First question: <laughs> When can we, when, when, when can we put? When can we, you know, uh, comply uh, with full body harness? At what height? When we need to put? When it, when we need to comply with full body harness? At what height? Okay. And I when don't... we can say. Mm -hmm. If a person is working at height, at what height we can consider that the work is performing on height? At what height it can be called as the other person is doing work at height? You know, I want to tell to you that uh, at my home, when uh, electric poles were fixed when they were uh, like um, installed at my street, so that moment yeah, well, the people they wore the full body harness. Okay. So mm -hmm. the thing is that yeah, I, I think that I, if I, if uh, like around 20 feet, 20 feet or like uh, 25 feet, if people are working, mm -hmm. if they are doing any work, right? So they must wear full body harness. Uh, yeah, actually, it, it is, is easy to lock. Is it, it is easy it is to a, lock. Mm -hmm. yeah, it is, about six it is, it is a standard. If it is about six meter, then we need to comply with full body harness. And when we can say that the work is work at height. Hmm. Uh, the nature of work is work at height. 
if it is about 1.8 meter from ground level then we have to consider that the person is performing work at a height mm -hmm. exactly and there are four points in safety harness that we need to comply we need to know ensure whether they are in a good condition or not before you know complying with that mm -hmm. thank you very much anything else you would like to share yeah okay would you like to tell about, about you know okay would you like to tell about engineered ropes shut up mm -hmm. engineer ropes where is that where is yeah. it engineer engineer ropes yeah. actually 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 it is used to one second i'm going to engineer <laughs> engineer dropped it is used to you know sometimes we use it to uh hang hang the material sometimes when suppose if a worker is performing uh, painting work mm -hmm. on 20 story of buildings then at that time we we just try to you know hang the materials hang the you know bucket of of paints and uh, the worker just you know they like to comply with uh, fall arrester normally we say we can say there it is a rope grab and normally it is known as uh, fall arrester with ascender and descender and fall lock protection we use that at the same time we use these equipments engineer 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 drop to you know just uh, provide the support to hang the materials that we have to use uh, at height so okay. it is uh, that's all i know about that thank you very much hello baljit hmm. are you here baljit i would like to ask you to tell about rope yes, grabs sir. rope grabs Uh, yes sir do you see rope grabs picture yeah i think uh, rope grabs is uh, yes yes mm -hmm. please go ahead uh yes uh, yeah actually rope grabs is used uh, to connect uh, like uh, if you, i am using harness i am wearing a harness then uh, it connect uh, from me a uh, harness and uh, if i want to uh, Uh, attach my uh, uh, hook on a, on a specific uh, point mm -hmm. uh, which can be shave me from so it is uh, attached uh, from one part to another part mm -hmm. yeah and it is a one type of it is kind of connector yes, lock it is a one say. type yes okay thank you very much so now we like to ask to carlos carlos please tell about high visibility vest Carlos are you here? Hello Carlos. After hearing visible, Carlos decided to be invisible. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So Shiraj, other... I have to go. I'm sorry but I have to go because soon my next lesson uh will mm -hmm. start. So these words are really interesting and of course useful especially for people who work in this field. as for me i haven't known most of them so keep on keep on teaching and keep on studying see you next time yeah. bye bye thank you very much for joining keep bye joining bye. thank you you're welcome my pleasure so all Can right i say that <laughs> just huang would you like to say about just please yeah i have seen a lot here some policemen they are wearing that at night for mm. like a alarm beeper and also even um i mean some people they are a worker with uh, sweeping i mean sweeping on the road also at night they are yeah, wearing exactly. that to notify people to realize them <laughs> yeah, especially those who work in the night you know in my city metro train work is going on so mostly workers. they work they work they work in the night at night and they wear this high visibility vest yes right so that is why it is useful for them okay pain suit who would like to speak about pain suit that's me shada if you will allow me <laughs> okay no 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 let's, anyone let's give opportunity to other person yes of course i'm giving opportunity richa jain can hello I, richa can i yes of course richa please yeah yeah hi 
Hi. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Good evening to everyone. Pain suit. Uh, oftenly, we also wear while the paint, mm -hmm. and especially especially pain. Uh, so that of course, paint is not harmful for uh, for the body's skin. And second is second is you can say cleanliness. Uh, when the like when we also need to cleaning the home at the time we also can use paint suit mm -hmm. yeah okay. respirators uh, mm -hmm. if we who knows about respirators, respirators? Huh, if me, it's me shut up if you're alone okay anybody Sheikh Miraz Sheikh Miraz Shabir Lena Juan Sheikh Miraz can you speak Baljit Indian dressed just Baljit, would you like to say something about this? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, please. Yes, uh, respirators is a uh, instrument which is used for if uh, you are unconscious or uh, especially if you are uh, uh, if you face any type of uh, difficulty uh, to uh, having uh, Breathe, breathing system mm -hmm. and uh, your nervous system is down. So at mm -hmm. that time they help to respirate and to mm -hmm. uh, inhale or exhale. Mm -hmm. So you can uh, get uh, and breathe easily. Mm -hmm. Thank Sometimes, you. Yeah. Uh, okay, if your uh, neck is unstrangled, okay, any any because of any accident uh, like. Uh, uh, at that time, you know, uh, if you are hanged by your necks and like that, so at that time, uh, it is used uh, on your mouth so that you can uh, take breath easily. Uh, okay. Let me let me clear it, uh, Shashira sir. If you allow me. Actually, at work site we use it. There are many types of respirators. But I would like to talk about the SCAB, self-contained breathing apparatus. Basically, we use it when you know a person is going to uh, perform a work in confined space where the space is uh, very limited. A person cannot work comfortably at the time. You know there are less uh, amount of oxygen and hazardous gases can be there like hydrogen sulfide and uh, carbon monoxide. These are very hazardous gases. So within a short span of time, a person can be, you know, injured and face uh, major problems. So at that time we use, we provide workers to, you know, keep respirators like SCABA, uh, where they can, you know, get a appropriate level of oxygen. Does it connect any with cylinder, oxygen cylinder? Hmm? Like, I mean to say like, that, uh, is it also connected with oxygen cylinder? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can also you can also take the example of deep sea divers. You know, mm -hmm. when when they go in the deep of sea, they just like to contain a cylinder of oxygen. It is just like that. So, air-contained breathing apparatus is the another thing. Self-contained breathing apparatus. These are just uh, you know the, just types of. There are many more. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. But very much. both are respirators, no? Like Shashi yeah, yeah, said, are. you also you also said the same thing. Both are respirators. Categories are there. Like helmets, yes. all are helmets, but different categories are there. So yeah, yes. it's good to know this knowledge. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Barik. Hello, yeah. Barik. Yeah, yeah. I was wearing this uh, respirator back in the days. Yeah, I, it can be seen that Mr. Shut up or shut up. Yeah, it can be seen yeah. that he's working in oil and gas field company, probably. Yeah, he's yeah well health and safety executive working as a, as yeah. a health and safety executive yeah. at last you know i would like to say about this all the all the personal protective equipments in india basically people like to follow ppes but it should not be like that when it is about control measures we need to follow hierarchy of control measures where there are five steps ppes comes at last it can protect only wearer it cannot reduce and eliminate hazards so oh, we have okay. to follow hierarchy of control measures. The first one is we have to try to eliminate the hazards. Mm -hmm. If it is not, we are not able to eliminate them. We need to try to, you know, substitute the hazards. Then, then you know, engineering controls, then management controls. At last, we think about PPEs. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. We used to have. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we used to have yeah. Many types of PPE back in the days. So yeah, I, I used to wear respirator as well. So 
just because we used uh, we had sulfur in our area of work. For example, suppose yeah. I would just like wait, wait, shut sulfur. up, sulfur. shut up, sulfur. wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Yes, very sulfur. Uh, yeah, and the plus contamin contaminated air, you know, and contaminated air. air. Um, yeah, that's why we used to wear a respirator in order to breathe, you know, uh, properly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Okay, That's thank you very much, side. Shadab and Barrick. Thank you very much. Certified letters. Would like to speak about it? Anyone who knows about it? Yeah. Those who have not spoken, spoken, I would like to asking. Yeah. Um, yes, please. Okay. Yes, Richard. Do you want to say about it? We. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Please go ahead. We can use uh, letters. Uh, especially for shooting time. Shooting time. Am I audible? Hello, am I audible? Yeah, yes, you are audible. Oh my God. Am I audible? You are audible. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we also can use uh, letters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we also can use letters uh, while the shooting time, especially. And uh, while the heavy work, uh, when we also like when we we cannot uh, like use by hands so but we also can use by ladders while the working time and uh, like we also set uh, like uh, we also set on the road camera like that of things so we also can use the ladders and while the constructions okay why it yeah, is called certi it. why it is called certified ladders why it is like certified, like certified. does it have oh. some parameters? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, Richard, do you want to say? Will you allow yeah. me? Yeah, Richard. Did you understand my question? No, that's it. Thank okay, you. Okay, that's okay. Shut up. Do you want to say? About yeah, it? I understood the questions. Okay, uh, because. Uh, because uh, because it's very safe. Okay. Uh, it's very safe, more than uh, normal ladder. Okay. It is a safe certified ladder. Right. And yes, Shadab, you were saying about certified. Why it is called certified? Does it have some yeah. parameters? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There is are... guarantee. No, actually, there are there are angle. It is about angle, you know, seventy five degree. So that we need to follow if you are going to use ladders. So it is net, mm, mandatory that the position of ladder should be uh, at its right place. Otherwise, you know, a person can fall from height. That's why it is called certified ladders. And there are techniques that everyone need to follow. This is three point of contact when we are you know stepping up at height. Two hands should be uh, uh, with contact and one legs. Uh, people just like to, you know, follow their negative attitudes while stepping up, but it should not be like that. So that's why it is about angle, 75 degree. Yeah, I like the way it's called certified. I, my yep. personal point of view is just like this. Uh, probably there's a certain department to, you know, to check, to inspect the letters and quality check. And that's why it's called certified letters, probably. Okay, so now the next point, we have suspended work platform. Hello? Yes, it Deepshika. It is a type of scaffold. Wait, wait. Yes. I think Deepshika is speaking. Yes, Deepshika, please. Yeah, so suspended work platforms are a safe and adaptable place where I where this place is uh, empty for doing any lightweight work like decorating or decorating lighting if there is any error in faults on everything then it in this place is used uh, for carrying the loads uh, carrying the luggage so after observing this picture i want to say that this is the place where we can do any type of work which would be safe and uh, adaptable, easy to use. Mm -hmm. So, from my side, this much. 
Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Self-propelled aerial work platform. Who'd like to mm -hmm. tell about it? Yeah. Apart from Shadab, anybody, please unmute yourself and tell about self-propelled aerial work platform. I think this use the protect people when they work in a high tower and uh, mm, high building, mm -hmm. the tower and high building. Mm -hmm. uh, they have to um, stand on mm -hmm. uh, for uh, something doing for doing something. And uh, I think this is uh, very common, and we can see this kind of uh, platform. Uh, around us in the building in in the city uh, and i think it's for this reason by over sheik azam sheik hello sheik you want to speak no sir actually i don't have any idea but the way i can okay that's okay that's okay that's okay. i can just certified scarf holding I think this is also just like certified ladders. It is also called fixed or uh, it is also called, you know, static scaffolding. Mm -hmm. There are six kinds of scaffolding. So this one is static, we can say, or certified scaffolding. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, let us know what is called scaffolding. Yeah. Just, does anybody so scaff know about self? Uh, yeah, sorry, certified scaffolding. Yeah. Anybody knows about it? Okay, I think that this is. Actually, but but I, I told the bus. Baljit wants to say. Mm -hmm. I told the bus suspend work platform. Yeah, suspended work I, platform. That's a different yes, and yes. certified scarf folding. What did I say about? about what did I say was about this? See, see, see. Yeah. Sus suspended I, I have work seen. Platform. Yeah, I have seen with my own eyes. Um, mm -hmm. Scaffold, scaffolders, uh, we have cert, certain team called scaffolders and they were building a huge tank mm -hmm. and they used this uh, scaffolding, certified scaffolding. Yeah. Okay. Baljit wants to say something. Baljit, please go yes, ahead. Yes, sir. <clears throat> yeah, actually, uh, I want to say uh, about scaffolding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, scaffolding is a one type of structure. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, suppose mm -hmm. that if we have a 10 story building and uh, we want to uh, whitewash for a painting of that building uh, from outside and we have no staircase or uh, anything to uh, climb up. So at that time we, we use a scaffolding uh, one by one, uh, uh, first step, two step, three step like that. Uh, but it is certified because uh, they have to take some measures that uh, it would be safe and secure for the workers. So it is a one type of structure uh, which mm -hmm. is uh, used especially for the multi-story buildings or on towers or uh, if you are working on a uh, height, uh, height. So yeah, uh, yeah that's it. That's it. it is just a yes, please. It is just a temporary platform that mm -hmm. we use to support both main and materials, both mm -hmm. while performing work at height. So just a temporary platform to support both main and materials while performing work at height. Okay, yeah. now the thing is that work. we have new participants. He's Mr. Marcel. Hello, Marcel. Please unmute. Hey. Hi. I just joined, but I'm not sure what it's about. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is that, Marcel, first of all, tell something about yourself. Oh, yeah. I'm an electronic technician. I'm living in Germany. Um, I'm 28 years old. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Marcel, at the moment, Marcel. I'm at work. <laughs> I have to confess. Okay. 
fine thank you for joining and uh, this is your first time that you have joined with us thanks once again and uh, i would like to sell, uh, tell to you that please join whenever you get free time join with us and marcel and me we both have been friends i think that more than uh, one year or one year so we yes. have been in the contact all right so the thing is that he has joined first time with us and uh, generally like uh, he rides a bicycle he's very much fine of riding bicycles so the thing is that whenever we do video calls so he rides a bicycle so that's amazing thing yeah right okay guys so now i have already made the breakout room so i want you people to discuss those questions in the breakout room and we have only 30 minute to discuss right so i'm just going to open all the breakout room you all have got the link okay. please join Tune in few no, new participants have joined. Guys, please join your breakout room. George, Michael, Carlos Beric, please join your breakout room. Carlos and Beric. Hello, Huang. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here with all the people. They want to talk Hello, with you. Farhan. Muhammad Farhan. Mr. Farhan. To see you. Now you are co-host. You can join any breakout room, whichever you like. To whom you want to discuss, to whom you want to practice. You can join your breakout room. Okay, thank you, thank you. Welcome, Deepshika. How are you? Yes, yeah, I'm fine. So you're not <laughs> at the breakout room, yeah? Do you want? To I have joined two breakout room, but I, actually this topic is not up to my knowledge. That's why I can't speak a single word on this topic. <laughs> That's okay. If you are not listen, first of all, if you don't have any mm -hmm. idea on any topic, right, and you're not able to speak, that will listen other. Right. Be silent. Listen other. Get the idea from the members, from the participant. Then add your experience. You might have seen something in your area or any other area. The same thing, same safety tools. Right. Add your yeah. idea with their idea. Right. And if add. you don't, you cannot add your idea to their idea. Then you can speak the same thing, but. Your style would be different. Getting? Mm, yes. Getting? Yes. I mean to say that the purpose of joining the breakout room, the purpose of coming here in the Zoom meeting to speak, and what you are speaking, it doesn't matter. But you should have your own style of speaking. A bit in a room number three, no one is talking. All are on silent mode. Mm -hmm. And in room number four, they That's were okay. talking about now, something. Now, now I'm giving you one more opportunity. Okay. Chika, when you feel, when you think that nobody is speaking, then now okay. it's your job to push the people. Okay? okay. It doesn't matter if someone is not speaking, but you are a speaker. You have that much of guts, talent. You can say that you are. You have that much uh, ability. To encourage the people to speak more. Yeah. Got it? Okay. Right. If no one is speaking, then you, your job to lead the team. Right. If you are able to lead two or three people, then you can also lead ten people or more than that. Suppose you get chance to become a host here, how would you lead twenty-five people or thirty people? <laughs> if you are not able to lead two people, two participants, 
and if you don't have idea if nobody is speaking then you can do some general conversation bring any other topic and start speaking that on that got it okay sure yeah. right yes yeah. okay hello from indonesia uh, somebody is from indonesia the number uh, is I'll, 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 i'll go to the breakout room number three. okay i'll i'm gonna check what is happening there yeah please go please tell you go and create some amusement over here <laughs> okay dokie <dokey. laughs> okay. hi mohammed Hey, what's up, brothers? How are you? Yeah, I'm great. I'm great. And how are you? After a yeah, long time, you're though. joining with us. Yeah, it's like, sorry, sorry, I didn't get you. I said that after a long time, you're joining with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, sure, yeah, I was kind of a bit busy. And like, I saw him in work. I just like, all the time, I just hit that book because some couple of yeah, months, I have examination. So because of it, I like kind of swam with it. Like I got a lot of plates. How's your examination? Uh, I will. I will. In some couple of months. So so yeah, it's a kind of like preparation of it. Like, yeah, learning. Yes, of course. How's now, your now preparation? I get it? How's yeah, your just preparation like yeah, going my preparation. On? Yeah, just my preparation is like like yeah, like like amazing going on. And mm -hmm. but I still have to learn a lot of things. Mm -hmm. But even though I have to learn a lot, but I I joined like your meeting. But I kind of be bored by learning, learning, learning. I you thought know that I should that, like... that when you are doing any kind of preparation and you do you're going to do any kind of examination and you are studying the same book, same material every day, all the time, right? So the thing is that you need to get some changes. If you join the meeting, mm -hmm. you would be getting lots of different mm -hmm. people, different topic. And you can talk, you can mm -hmm. have discussion, you can have some fun. Right? In this way, you can make your mind fresh. Then yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah, some new energy, right? You can get some enthusiasm talking with people, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe you can have some new idea to learn, to remember the things, right? True, true. Yeah, yeah. This is because of it. I just joined the meeting. Mm -hmm. It's like so I, I I'm just love going your meeting. To... Yeah. Thank you very much. So I'm going to put you in a breakout room. You can join and you can practice more with the participants. So the thing is that I'm going to assign you breakout room number four. Right. Join. Sure. sure. Huang in the breakout room number uh -huh, three or two, four, six. In one breakout, there were six participants. Catalino. Hello, Catalino. Join. So, Prisha, are you enjoying with us? Yeah, enjoy. Prisha, enjoy are you? Break a room. Prisha, in, yes. are you? That's good. That's yes. good. So, where is your father? What is he doing? Is he doing some dishes or no. cooking some yeah, food? Yeah, he's taking, he's taking he's, her mother. He's taking care out. of her. He's going out. He's going out. Oh. Okay, he might be enjoying some snacks or something else, some spicy food. He comes he come home. He has come home. <laughs> Send me in room. He has come home right now. Yes, yes. What is your age? Uh, my age is seven. Seven years old. And in which class do you study? I'm studying in second class. Second class, that's good. And my, you are studying it, means you are going to join third class. Is that fine? Yes. yes. Great, great, great. My niece is oh, also in her the- Her listening skill, so great, you know. She oh, is great, think. she is great. Not her listening skill. Hmm. It's When no, you were... I mean English. Her English. Okay, Huang. When I, you were at. Seven... I don't discuss about appearance. 
No, the thing is that when you were at seven, so were you able to speak English? Were you able to listen when you were seven? Seven no, years old. No, I don't old? know about English. As that time, I don't know any single word. I don't know. I didn't so know. It depends upon the parenting, you know. It depends upon Even... the parenting, the kind of surrounding atmosphere you will receive. When we were at kids, we did not able to have that kind of atmosphere, right? So we could not able to speak that kind of yeah, language. Yeah, right. Uh, the, our parents were usually speak in native language, so we give, love to give answer with them in native language. Mm -hmm. And uh, today, I uh, started studying English when I class ten. And when I started, I, class, I started class study English uh, in in my uh, second year of college. You cannot believe. And okay. I started, oh. I started speaking English and learning English when I started joining Mr. William Wolf's Zoom session. <laughs> right. No, I, mean, yeah. I don't yes. believe that. Yes, exactly. You're telling yeah, lies. Even, yeah, telling lies. No, no, Many no, times no, telling no. lies. <laughs> no, 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 no. Carlos, <laughs> tell me, how long have you yeah. been learning English? Carlos. Um, well, uh, I was learning English so many years ago. Uh, when I was a child, I was uh, learning, but uh, I have a so big problem. Uh, don't have partners with uh, talk, with continue practicing. Uh, yes, in the time I was learning. I was with a uh, little partners, but uh, my family, my neighborhoods, my uh, friends of childhood uh, can't uh, speak or learn English. So in this time, since uh, last year, I have found new people and well, it's so easy for uh, remind uh, all lessons and yeah. I speak. For reminding. Uh, Okay, yeah, let me I... talk to George. Hello, George. Hello. How are George. you? How are you, George? George. Okay. That's a very you... different name for me. Pronounce. Can you hear George? George? Are you here? Yeah. But you know, George. George is in very George. beautiful place. Look at the background. Yes. It's a natural wow. background. Coconut tree. Coconut tree. George, would you like to show us the mountains and the trees? Coconut tree. That looks so beautiful. Do you hmm. understand, George? What I'm saying to you? <laughs> I hope so. I hope he understood. Yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> George has a little problem of uh, audio and let uh, he try for fix it. Um, there is a new um, partner, Helio. Hello. Hello, Carlos. Bienvindo. I see it's so Brazil. <laughs> Bienvindo. <laughs> oh, amazing. <laughs> and not, not speak. I not speak so Portuguese, but I try for learn too. And um, well, uh, we are from South American, and well, this is a chat about around the world. Uh, introduce a uh, place for um, for people. Oh, me? Okay. <laughs> uh, my name is Elio. I'm from Brazil. I'm 37 years old. Uh, <laughs> with a spirit of a of a guy of eighteen, <laughs> uh, but I'm married. Uh, I'm an English teacher. I love so much this language. I love with this opportunity to have you guys joining me, and it's amazing. <laughs> Who has you know, a crunchy smile? You know, three years back, I was uh, going. To, uh, I was going to a trip with my colleague and actually he is aged, he was, he is around like uh, 55 years old, right? And he also brought his son and we were together in a car, right? So he, his son was listening lots of English songs and uh, actually he was college going student, right? 
and he used to listen lots of song and he was started speaking english to me right and i was listening actually in my office nobody speaks english and uh, everybody speaks hindi language and local languages right so we all just have fun in office and nobody speaks english language right so the thing is that when i started speaking english to that uh, my colleague's son then he got surprised that how do you speak english i said i'm speaking right he said that no actually my father's friend no one is i have not seen my father's any of the friend who who is uh, like you but you you don't look that you work with my father's uh, office you don't look like that how do you speak english like it, that's not possible it's not possible that you are speaking english i'm saying that what happened he, then he's saying that you are speaking like my teachers my professors the way they speak english and you are speaking the same manner that's not possible that you are speaking english he got amazed uh, surprised that uh, i'm speaking english with him so that happens with sometimes like when nobody expected and sometimes you know when i trim the videos of few of my clips of here right and i share on my facebook page on a story or instagram page story was that moment my colleague my friends they ask me that uh, what is this can you tell me you are speaking and you are speaking with foreigners some other countries people what is this like, is it i think that it is kind of editing and i think that you are reading something because nobody knows that i am speaking english language in my office even my friends nobody knows when i when they see that i am speaking english they get surprised that how is that possible that is it there are many tools many applications which are coming in the android phones so play stores right so by which you can edit the videos you can apply many things so they don't believe that i'm speaking english they always say that you have yeah, some used some a, tools that's a big achievement that's a big achievement you know and uh, that that kind of uh, achievement that, that kind of things happen only just by the practicing continuous mm-hmm. practicing you know as you can say right now kohli is number one cricketer right why he become number one cricketer how you he can break all the records just because of every day he used to have practice even on holidays also even on vacation also he used to have bat wherever he goes mm-hmm. like sachin mentioned sachin tendulkar also mentioned in his mm-hmm. uh, career of 20 22 years okay it's a career he every day career yeah in, in his career uh, yeah career, career right it's a so career yeah he used to have he used to have practice uh, with his bat every day mm-hmm. right so that kind of consistency if you maintain uh, for learning you know the kind of uh, but you know these players they have to play only they don't have to do any other work right if they are given job that entire day you will do job then you right, will right. study then you will practice cricket yeah. is it possible that that's is, not possible yeah, that is little bit difficult mm-hmm. yeah that is a kind of you know the kind of uh, hobbies what you have the kind of encouragement what you have the kind of motivational what you feel about yourself you know when you compare yourself in your past uh, then you compare yourself right now so that's why that kind of motivation you will receive within yourself mm-hmm. that makes you more and more motivated and uh, you can able to do this kind of activity continuously and after you know uh, reaching at certain level you will start to helping the people helping to the society mm-hmm. the activity which we are doing right okay huang and jay would you like to go to join breakout to number 5 because somebody is looking for okay. help okay but i am not a uh, co-host today so just make me Hu- so we'll huang like... huang okay i'm making you co-host you can join breakout to number 5 huang is looking for some help huang has gone hello alina Alina are you here Hello Yes I'm here That's great So Glad to see you What about your business trip Great to see you too Oh I'm in hotel tired <laughs> <laughs> just came So you had long business trip I think that Yes, to, to be honest, I'm tired of 
farms, animal farms. <laughs> really, I want to go to my city. <laughs> so, you know, side, uh, it's quite challenging it's to food. having, uh, you know, traveling in this kind of COVID scenario. Right? No, no. Right now, this trip devoted to brucellosis, if you know such a disease. Mm -hmm. That's why, yes, we take, we take uh, blood samples from cattle. Blood samples from? Cattle, cattles, cattle. animals, animals, cattles. Cattles, okay, cattles. okay. Yeah, as you mentioned that you are also uh, doing such kind of research activity, right? Yes, yes. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I just need to recall that I am also being work, working in a research and development unit mm -hmm. and you are also doing that kind of some research activity. Mm -hmm. Yes, but right. now we just collected it and then we transport it uh, to my city for diagnosis. Yes, we put it into liquid nitrogen. Right, for storage, minus 70 degree. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. some of them, some of them just in cold, keep it cold. Great. So you are uh, doing that kind of research activity for developing such kind of molecule? for fighting against any diseases? O only for fighting, yes. And uh, uh, for brucellosis only for, it's like uh, monitoring, you know, monitoring. Right. right. Monitoring territory. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. Good to know that. Bholu, who's Bholu? <laughs> Bholu is going to join with us. Bholu. Hi, Bholu. <laughs> Hello, are you here? I think his, his voice is not connected. Audio is not connected. Mm. So Alina, do you part of our English globally group? Hi, you are hello, part of yes. Telegram. Yesterday I felt boring and joined some conversations. Right. Uh, it was quite nice, you know. Yes. No, uh, I'm asking you, you are part of WhatsApp group or you are part of Telegram channel? In, in Telegram, I joined something, I don't know, who right. is Emma, some Emma, Emma. he or she, yes, okay. added me into some group and uh, uh, I've seen that there are really thousands, thousands of people there. No, no, no not that <laughs> one. Joined... No, 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 not that one, what? not that one, right. Uh, they, the Telegram group where I'm admin, you are there. Comiscal, the name is yes, Comiscal. You are added okay. there. But it was another group yesterday. Yes, that was another yes. group. In my group, only 220 parts members are here. Are there hmm. in Telegram. Mm -hmm. 220 yes. members. But, but uh, only, you know, from these thousands, only eight people were talking. Others <laughs> were chatting. No, yes. you know, and I joined in this, in this in this kind of like twenty five thousand many many groups are here like there are like two thousand or more than that and if you send any message right so I don't know after that there are so many messages more than like one hundred or two hundred messages suddenly you cannot see your message that where where is your message that has somebody seen your message or yes. not right <laughs> so that happens so it's not required to join such kind of groups. You would not find any kind of study material. You would not find any person, right? So let's mm -hmm. use but that. But really, we were talking in a small group yesterday. It was quite nice. Yes, I liked. Mm -hmm. Okay. About everything. But About everything. It was. Today, Marcel has joined with us first time. Ah, really? Mm -hmm. Marcel. And I got surprised that he somehow he got time to join with us. And okay, still he is still in the breakout room number four. Uh, when I would <laughs> close the breakout room, then all the participants would come here. So today yeah, our we time have, is over. Yeah, the time is about over. So the thing is that we today we have talked about the safety tools, safety days in our country in India. Actually, we have four to eleventh of March celebrations or organization organized uh, by the industries and factories safety days we organize seven mm -hmm. days safety days 
so we oh, bring the awareness of the safety so we had this topic and unfortunately i could not share that topic in russian group so you could not get the i found it uh, in telegram you, you found know. it in telegram yes exactly so you could yes. find there that's why the i telegram. asked uh -huh. mm -hmm. so we had the conversation about that initially now after that we just made the breakout room so i'm just going to close it right so i think that right. okay that anyway i don't know about indian mm -hmm. self today at all no, mm -hmm. i don't know <laughs> and uh, i will read so the thing let the participants come here then we'll be having some discussion about it otherwise we'd close it hello buzz how was the conversation in the breakout room yeah it was amazing it was good uh, as always and uh, thank you so much sir for giving us the opportunity to uh, express ourselves and all, uh, obviously we need the platform uh, everybody is talented uh, allah god bhagwan ishwar has made everybody talented but they need the platform so you are giving us the platform and organizing such difficult task by managing everyone each person which is hats off i mean Mm -hmm. Jabatel Bai, Shashi Raj Bai, and now uh, Dr. Huang also is part of your uh, organization. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the thing is that we also need a people who speak and who encourage the uh, encourage others to speak more, like Abbas and Shadab and yes. Azita. Yes. These all are yes. people. They are very good speaker. They always encourage and push the people to speak. Many times, the uh, new members, the beginners, they don't want to speak. They feel shy to speak. They sh uh, feel shy to share. their yes. views right so the thing is that yes. if we have the participants who already speak english language and who want more practice so who can get chance to lead and encourage yes. the beginners the new members right yes. so i say to all the participants as dipshika was here so she is very good speaker and uh, she was saying that uh, nobody yeah. was speaking everybody says then i said that just go and join and push and encourage the people to speak and if you don't have idea and they and they don't have idea then you can do some general conversation you can bring any other topic yes sir. right we agreed 100% mm -hmm. so guys thank you for empowering us and uh, you are always encouraging motivating and uh, as i've been joining sometimes i When, want to join your every sorry sir. Yep. thank you very much abbas and i also get encouragement from you all participants when you all people join with us and you just to appreciate us you always encourage us so that moment yes, like sir. we also become so excited talking with you all people <laughs> yeah everyone is amazing madam azita and uh, so many names i don't even uh, remember because there are so many people and um, personally i am a reactor and i learn from everybody i come here to learn so if uh, madam huang madam azita you the mr shashi raj and mr jay patel and everybody uh, will speak so i can learn and I, like mr mohammad shada very very uh, excellent speaker i mean uh, in the breakout room i was really surprised and amazed that he's he's got uh, different qualities and madhya sen bhai also he says i have this problem that problem but he's continuously speaking and he's a good speaker he, i think he doesn't know that he's got the talent Uh, and Mohammed Shada by heads off. He's just like um, you and Jay Patel by and Shashi Raj by. He speaks very good. I like. I love him. I learn from him. Yeah. No, no, no. I think that Shada should be Shada. Right. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> should have his own identity. Right. If somebody says that you speak like Jay and Shashi, so that's not yeah, required. Yeah, right. Shada should be Shada. There should be no comparison. Very true. Exactly, Shada exactly. should be Shada. Yeah. Yes. So guys, so first of all, we need to take a picture. Please turn on your camera. Those who have closed, please turn on your camera. You all people are requested. Yeah. Thank you very much for sharing. So the thing is that now it's a time to end the meeting. At last, I would like to before. Ask, mm -hmm, just please. No, share. no. Before we uh, end the meeting, let me provide you one more uh, uh, news to all of you guys. we have started our own youtube channel okay so the, all the videos which we are doing they are uploading uh, this i am just sharing my screen and providing you the video which i have uploaded yesterday also i uploaded the video but the subtitle is missing but so i will provide you the video which along with the subtitle 
this is the video that we had uh, done discussion uh, day before yesterday along with the subtitle open up that my pdf file oh. and share my sure screen. okay excellent so you guys able right. to find this, out uh, this this is, today, that's right Sir, you, you guys, can now give the, the title for now, sir. You can also give yeah. title for now, sir. It is possible. Our topic for discussion, we have okay. a debate. You can edit the uh, name, sir. Now. Actually, so this is our, our own YouTube channel. Look <laughs> <laughs> to you guys. And, uh, <laughs> yes. Okay. Chat box. So you will be connected us. Like this. Honest. 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 Okay, so, <laughs> so this is about our own YouTube times. channel. <laughs> Beautiful people. <laughs> so what I wish that, you know, you guys, whenever get time, just try to go through our YouTube channel, try to identify yourself, try to analyze your English in this YouTube channel. Uh, that's only for that purpose only. Okay, when you yeah. uh, identify your own voice, how you are speaking English, you will make sure that next time you will correct it properly right yeah, sure. so this is the That's way right. learning english yeah that is Thank the purpose you. only uh -huh. and you know one thing many times i have realized from myself that when i speak english language and when i see myself on youtube when i after uploading my videos over there so the words the subtitles which are different which i want to speak so that means my pronunciation is not correct right the thing is that yeah, if you yeah. are using any word and the word which you want to say and the subtitle is different, that means your pronunciation is not correct. You need to work on your pronunciation. So that is the purpose. Right. That is the main advantage. It is also your mentor <clears throat> to tell you yeah. where you are. Okay. Fine. So yeah. finally, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's for the different. Uh, sorry, uh, maybe it's for the different of the, the accents. Uh, maybe it's the, for example, people in India, in Russia, in Peru, in Spain, they have uh, uh, different pronunciation, mm -hmm. and we we'll, we'll try for um, try to speak um, louder and uh, correctly in our ways, maybe. And well, in the second way, um, we are identify our partners. We are meeting. We are. I know. I I just identify my new partner, my new family, and I'm so glad so meeting. But it's just a little time for uh, just completely that that. Uh, and one more thing, I want to tell to you that many non-native speakers like Alina and Marcel, they are. They are natives, but Alina is not non-native speaker. She's from Russia, right? So, but thing, the thing is that when these people, they speak like Svetlana and Alexandra, they are not non-natives. They are from Russia, but, but they speak. When they speak, their pronunciation, everything is correct. Okay. Yeah. So they have also learned English, but in correct way. So this sure. is the purpose. <laughs> this is, and Helio, your pronunciation, your English is also good. You're also not native. Uh, yeah. Your English oh, is good. Thank you so much. This <laughs> way more I get than, embarrassed. More than English, <laughs> Shashibai, his <laughs> smile and laughter is very powerful. I didn't know that he's on the platform because I'm on the smaller device. He laughs so beautifully that I understand, oh, Helio is there. <laughs> <laughs> oh guys, don't think this way. <laughs> I'm a shy person. <laughs> but you know, he, has, American, he has many voices. Uh, many different voices. <laughs> American, the happiness of some American people, maybe earlier. <laughs> I'm from oh, Peru. Like, uh, actually, actually, this is a this is a, a great idea because only in that way we can realize that we are making mistakes, right? Exactly. So, sure. That's the point. Yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Maybe okay, guys. Are... At last, anybody wants to say here? I'm going to end the meeting now. Sure, I would yeah. like to just uh, say hi to my friend Eduardo. He just wrote a message, so I got to know he's also here because today I'm not on the laptop, so I can't see everybody. I have to move the screen. So hi, Eduardo. Hi, Helio. Dr. Huang. Everybody, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Especially Mr. Shashi Raj. Goodbye. Mr. Goodbye. Thank you, Marcel. Goodbye. Thank you, guys. So okay, Enjoy Marcel, do you want to say something? Goodbye. I want Bye. to talk to Marcel. Hello, Marcel. 
मार्सल अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ फर्स्ट ऑल जी जी मैं आ रहा हूँ वंग वंग आई वांट टू थैंक यू हेलो मार्सल प्लीज अनम्यूट हाँ मार्सल ओके या देर यस यस मार्सल Hey. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. A few seconds for talking in the group, but uh, Russell, tell so... about the <laughs> tell about the conversation with your participants in the breakout room. Mike is muted. Yeah. Now it's unmute. Uh, I, it's unmute. Um, yeah. Now it's okay. Yeah. Please tell about the conversation <laughs> and your experience about our meeting. Oh, uh, it's pretty interesting. I would say all different kind of flavors of accents were there. Mm -hmm. uh, it is pretty. Some accents are harder to understand than other ones, but uh, <laughs> in general, I would say it is funny to to uh, work with accents and deal with accents. I like it a lot, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, have I, I have something funny to say because uh, I just uh, signed to group with Marcel, but I have a uh, little seconds for talk. I, in the last minute, I have to talk with Marcel and then we uh, don't have more time for talk. Yeah. <laughs> maybe the next time, maybe the next time we'll more time for talking. That's right. Next time you never know. Day. You will be in different breakout room. You never yeah. know. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Today, Jay, Jay. Today, you know, I did one experiment. What happened? Okay. That many participants they started coming in the main room. So they had some complaint that nobody is speaking like that. Nobody is have internet connection. Then I made everybody co-host. I just told to. Okay. them that now you are totally free you you have got the freedom to join <laughs> any breakout room whichever to whom you want to talk right. to whom you want to practice just go and join whichever you like <laughs> right so this kind of freedom you because topic is yeah topic is little bit difficult today's topic so that's why uh, it would be a challenging task for the people yeah maybe maybe right. but if we have difficult topic that means we are going to push a lot our mind right we should have difficult topic yeah. for some time yeah of course we have okay guys so <laughs> thank you very much for jo joining and have a wonderful time have a nice time and good night and good night guys enjoy your time tomorrow Bye. once again we we'll meet with tomorrow Bye. once again so yes sir my my degree <laughs>